broken heart again Another lesson learned Better know your friends Or else you will get burned Better count on me And I can guarantee that I'll be fine No more No llama drama No llama drama in my life Okay, stop. It's Greggy Soriano, and welcome to another episode of Greggy's Digest. If you're into satisfying cake decorating videos, please click on the subscribe button. And ring a ding ding that little bell to get notifications every time I post a new cake video. Today, we are going to make a no drama llama cake. No more drama llama in my life. Yup, I've hopped on to the whole llama bandwagon train. Whatever you hop on, I am on it. I've been on it for a while and I've been like kind of low key about it because A, my spirit animal has always been the sloth. But giraffes, like I've been dying to go to Giraffe Manor lately. And it's been, actually it's my dream to go to Giraffe Manor. I really want to go so bad. Oh, I'm so jelly of the people that on Instagram, I love looking up anybody that has gone to Giraffe Manor. And I've just been oh, obsessed. I love the whole boho chic idea to it. I love the tassels and I love just how cute llamas are. Apparently, alpacas are a lot smaller than llamas. Like, llamas can get up to 400 pounds, and I think alpacas, like, are really smaller. Like, I think 120 to 200 pounds, I believe. Just Google it. Apparently, their ears are different. Like, I think alpacas' ears are more spear-like, and um, llamas' ears are more banana-like. And I just, I love both of them. They're just so cute. I'm going to show you how to sculpt a llama out of an actual Twinkie. And it's a different medium other than using cake pop mixture or using a mound of buttercream. I like to use Twinkies or things that are in the shape of the actual thing that you're going to sculpt. It makes things so much easier and you can't go wrong with a Twinkie. I'm also going to show you how to make fur out of buttercream and fun little tassels that are going to go around his really long neck. So without further ado, let's get our cake on! Crumb coat and final coat an 8 inch round cake, 5 inches in height. You want to make sure you frost it in a home style fashion with tons of texture and unkempt edges so that's nice and beautiful. Set in the fridge to chill. Grab a couple of Twinkies. These are the limited edition ones. They're chocolate with scream filling, and I had to try it. Okay, guys, don't try that at home. I actually found out that I have a new talent. <laughs> Grab a paring knife, and with one Twinkie, carve out the shape of an actual llama head. And with that llama head that you just carved out, attach it to another Twinkie right at the very top with a toothpick and snip it off with a pair of bias pliers just so that the sharp end doesn't stick out. And then with a piping bag filled with buttercream, start piping all the way around covering it and this is kind of like a crumb coat to our actual llama. And you want to make sure it's shaped out into the shape of an actual llama neck and head and make sure its nose or um, is nozzle or muzzle is sticking out. Do, do not, llamas have muzzles? I don't know. But basically their face or their nose sticking out. Set this in the fridge to chill. Grab some white or ivory modeling chocolate and use your hands to shape out a teardrop shape. You want to create a V shape with your hands and move it back and forth and it creates a teardrop shape and we're making ears for the llama. I flattened it out and I did the same thing with some pink modeling chocolate as well. Attached it right on top of the white modeling chocolate and I'm shaping the ears and giving it some shape and inserting a toothpick at the bottom of each ear. 
With some red bottling chocolate, shape out two little balls, and we are making some shades for Mr. Llama. Come up with a name down below, and we need to name this guy. Use some black modeling chocolate to make the lenses. With some white powdered food coloring and a little bit of vodka, use a liner brush to create the little shadows of light onto the lenses. It's kind of like a lightning bolt type of shape that I'm drawing on. Grab some pink and shape out a cute little party hat with a little pom-pom right on top of it. And I'm using a Dresden tool to give some texture to the pom-pom that's going on top of the little party hat and adding some cute little fun stripes with a liner brush in sky blue. Now that our crumb-coated llama head is chilled up a bit, place it in the middle of the cake with buttercream. Use a piping bag with white buttercream fitted with a number 233 grass tip and start from the bottom and pipe all the way up, start from the bottom now here, and pipe all the way up using the grass tip and making it look like fur and go all the way around the llama's head. Grab a number one tip in black buttercream and start piping out a very fine round nose and mouth on Mr. Llama. Add his shades, ears, and party hat. Grab that number one piping tip in black again and pipe all the way from the party hat down to his chin and pipe out a little bow to make it look like the party hat is tied on to his neck. With a number one tip in sky blue, pink, and peach, start piping out some fringy tassels onto his little garland or necklace of tassels that he has around his neck. Pipe out an itty bitty loop right where the string is, and then start from right where the little bitty loop that you made and go all the way down to make all these little strands of fringe for the tassels. And then grab some palette knives and in the same colors start spreading little swatches almost like confetti all the way around Mr. Llama. And here we have it, our llama cake. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my No Drama Llama Cake. Please say hi to me on social media, on Twitter and Instagram. Well, don't go to Twitter because I'm rarely on there, but I'm on Instagram like all the time. I'm on Facebook every once in a while. Please tag me in all of your cake photos. Some of you guys have been sending me all of your cake photos that you guys have been making at home and I just love them. I literally, I low key like tear up every time you guys tag me and I see all the fun stuff that you make and you guys are actually using the techniques that I show you guys. It's amazing. I hope you guys have an amazing fall season. It's here! Sweater weather, sweater weather, sweater weather. Have you guys seen that um, SNL skit of the sweater weather? It's like the best. Well, you know what? At least the weather's turned.
Oh, sweater weather. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. Oh, God, I win. Finally, sweater, sweater weather. weather. Oh. Sweater weather. It's about time. Yeah, it's about time. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. Oh, Finally, sweater weather. God. sweater weather. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye. Click on my face to subscribe, click on the video to view my last episode on the right, and be sure to support this channel by visiting greggysoriano.com and say hi to me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.